Hi viewers, welcome to the next section of the course, Data in Higher Dimensions. In this section, we will introduce plots such as sunflower plots, hex bins, calendar maps, coxcombs and Chernoff faces, which are rarely used but are great tools to explore and present data. We will also explore network plots, pyramid plots and radial plots, which have been utilized to convey information in a meaningful way. Now we move on to the first video of this section that deals with constructing a sunflower plot. In this video, we are going to learn about sunflower plot and how it deals with high density data. Sunflower plot, as the name suggests, looks like a sunflower drawn in 2D space. The sunflower plots are used as variants of scatter plots to display bivariate distribution. When the density of data increases in a particular region of a plot, it becomes hard to read. Each petal in a sunflower plot represents an observation, hence sunflower plots can deal with high-density data. DuPont and Plummer Jr. 2003 provide an insightful discussion on the advantages of using a sunflower plot over scatter plots in case of high-density datasets. Sunflower plots are available with basic R plotting package, and we can learn more about their various arguments by typing question mark sunflower plot in the R console window. You will find the descriptive information under the Help tab. The plot is constructed using the Galton data available with HIST data package in R. We load the Galton data by installing the package and load it in R by using the install.packages and library. Here we can see that HIST data package is being installed now. Let's load the package using library function. To examine the headers and first six observations, we will use the head function with this line of code. You can see the output under the R console window. We can see that the Galton data compromises two variables, average height of the father and mother, and the height of the child. Let's preview the data using view function. The number 8 in this function is the number of lines to be displayed. After running this, you will see the data file in the active R session window. It is good practice to partially view the data before starting to plot it. The head function allows us to accomplish this in R. Now to construct a sunflower plot in R. We will utilize the sunflower plot function using this line of code. The data to be displayed on the x-axis is passed as the first argument in the sunflower plot function. The second argument consists of data to be displayed on the y-axis. Also note the use of the dollar sign as discussed previously. The dollar sign is placed after the referencing dataset, which is followed by the dollar sign. The col argument is used to specify the color of the plot, and the seg.col argument applies color to the leaves. If the data is single dot, it is just one observation. If the data has two lines, it represents two points, data with three lines represents three points, and so on. Let's run this code. Here you can see the output. Great! You can also learn about density distribution sunflower plots, DuPont and Plummer, Jr., 2003, at this website. Also, you can explore the many faces of a scatter plot, Cleveland and McGill, 1984, at this website. In this video, we have constructed a sunflower plot.